Hey, what is up everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to set up your SD to Vita card. Um, I got my adapter and my SD card off of Amazon. Um, up, everything will be linked down in the description below. I am not going to go through the auto plug-in 2 application like I want to. Um, I'm going to try something totally different. Um, as you can see on the, on the screen, I'm going to use the storage manager plugin. I'm going to do it that way. You have to add a few lines of information and delete a few lines of information, but it's really easy. I'll leave um, a, a little text on what the information you need to delete or keep and what it does. But um, let's get into it. Um, this will be the first thing I'll put down in the description is this link to GitHub. So you want to scroll down, download the latest um, files. All you need is the skprx file and the txt and that's it from this website you close out of that this you're going to need to download because you're going to need to write the image file that we're going to be downloading to the sd card with this little program right here for some reason you'd need this but um will be in the description below the link for that and the link for this zz blank dot image file will also be in the description below or I might just put um, everything on my uh, Google Drive so you guys can just download um, the files just quickly so you don't have to wait and stuff like that. So once those are downloaded, just minimize that or exit out um, of your Internet Explorer or Firefox or whatever. And you want to go over to where you have your files that you downloaded in. Double click on the Win32. And right now, I'm just showing you guys how to set, how to go about installing this. It's fairly simple. It's straightforward. But I just left this in here anyway. I should have just taken this whole thing out. The installation of uh, the Win32. After the installation, close that out. As you can see on the Internet on the Windows Explorer, my E drive will pop up. That's my SD card. As you can see right there. I'm just showing you how much memory um, the card has. I don't understand why it says 150. I don't. I wonder what's taking up that little space. But either way, it's a 512 gigabyte SD card. That's gonna hold a lot of games, which is nice. I really want to try the one terabyte um, SD card next, but I don't have that kind of cash on me right now. So. Let's load up Win32, as you can tell right there. Make sure you have the correct drive selected. So you just want to browse to find the ZZ image, blank image file, and just hit write. Read the little dialog box if you like, and you want to hit yes. And that's it. It's like a second, and it's done and over with. And that's it. You don't even need the Win32 anymore. You can delete that or uninstall it um, delete the blank image file as you can tell I just safely um, removed my SD card from my system instead of just um, tapping it so it could just pop out the SD card because I don't want to ruin anything so you're better off just to safely eject the um, SD card from your PC once you do that you put it back in and it's going to tell you the format now this is very important the allocation size for 256 gigabyte SD cards and higher please do 64 kilobits anything else just just leave a default and leave it on quick format format this card and then boom you're done easy as that so let's hop over to the Vita you want to load up your Vita shell as you tell right there now I'm going to show you the two steps. You could either do the FTP mode or the USB mode. So FTP mode is first. Um, I found out you could show hidden files through FileZilla. Um, I was told to do the USB mode since it's, since it's a lot easier and um, you could see the hidden files through uh, the Windows Explorer setup. But it seems like um, the FTP client shows hidden folders automatically anyway. But I don't know. I just showed you how to. A few moments yeah. later. Uh, I just woke up. 
So I transferred everything over to uh, my desktop, the UR UXO folder. I'll hop back over to my Vita, still in the Vita shell, close out the FTP mode, and I launched my USB mode for uh, the P PlayStation Vita. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, as you can tell, the Vita is connected to the computer via USB. Now, this is very important to show all hidden files. So just watch what I do. You can't you can't mess it up. I'm a visual learner, so I I'd rather watch somebody do something for a few times to understand instead of reading things. Because reading you, it gets a little tricky for me. I was never good at that, and I'm a very hands-on and visual learner. So I'm just making another folder. Um, because I'm going to compare um, the files that I took from the FTP mode from the FileZilla and the files from the USB and I just want to show you guys that you could do either or and um, you'll get the same result the same like uh, files in the f X amount of files in the folder and uh, whatnot so there's no like confusion or like mess ups I guess I don't know I just figured this would be a a nice thing to show you guys that you could do either or of course but you don't have to worry about it see everything's the same but I think the USB is I don't know I like both methods actually so at any rate let's Open up your FTP client, whatever it might be. Connect to that. Connect to the Vita again. Now you want to go to the UR0 folder, the Thai folder, and slide over the storage manager file into that Thai folder. And this is where you want to edit the storage manager text file. I'm going to leave this picture up here for you so you guys can understand it um, everything will be in the description below for more information about um, what you want to delete or add mostly what you want to delete from this little storage file since I'm on a PlayStation Vita 2000 2k these are the two lines of code that I'm gonna leave in there the well, nice thing is you hit yes and it just moves it over which is rad. Next you want to go to the config.txt file within the ur0 slash tie folder and this line of code is going to be underneath the kernel. It needs to be underneath the kernel. Either it could be before or after the henkaku.skprx line. And uh, don't do the backslash like I did. I, mu I muffed it up. Although I didn't record it not working. <laughs> I had to go back in and figure out what the hell I did wrong. But maybe if I use the auto plugin, I wouldn't have had this problem. So, shame on me. So after that, you hit OK. It saves it to the, uh, the FTP uh, server on the Vita side of things. So that's it. You don't even need um, the storage... Uh, file or the text file from the PC anymore. I'm just double checking to see if my work is done correctly. That's what, it, that's what I'm showing you guys right here. Yes it is done correctly minus the backslash. So just don't do that. I muffed it up. So after that what you want to do is just copy everything over that's within the UX0 folder. Do not copy the UX0 folder to the SD card. A that few won't work. Moments later. You need to copy every single file within the UX0 folder into your new formatted SD card. So once we do that, you back out of the Vita shell. I'm just showing you what I actually have for memory in my PlayStation Vita and that's what I got. Although my other videos, I showed you stuff that I installed, like themes and, and whatnot. I decided to delete all everything. 
So once I showed you that, the memory, everything will be working once you reboot the whole system. So I just shut everything down and just rebooted from a cold start. And that's how much I have left. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is what I have on my Vita shell, as you can tell by the drives and stuff like that. Um, like I said earlier, everything will be linked down in the description below. Um, if you didn't notice the bubbles, um, that's my screen protector. I bought uh, Armor Shield screen um, full body um, protector for my PlayStation Vita 2000 like I did um, earlier back in January of this year. Um, I'll link that down below to the eBay listing. I uh, I like the I like that a lot. Instead of just buying just the screen protector, um, the full body one is great. I uh, I really like it, enjoy it, and I feel comfortable if I drop the th thing or whatever. But other than that, hopefully guys and you hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said earlier, I just woke up, so that's why I got a, a good deep voice.